Hello and welcome. We will start the course by installing the necessary components to create our very own bootloader. We will need to create a bootloader before we can make a fully functioning kernel. Make sure you have the terminal open and we can now begin. This entire course will be done on Ubuntu Linux. If you do not have a Linux machine, please install one now. So we're just going to start by updating our repositories. Just do sudo apt update and press enter. Next we need to install NASM assembler. This will be the assembler we will be using throughout the entire course. I expect that you know assembly language before continuing this course. I do however have some assembly refresher content to refresh your memory. You can find this in the assembly section of this course. So to install NASM, just go sudo apt install NASM. If we now type NASM-V, we can see NASM's installed. Do not worry if your version is greater than mine, it shouldn't matter. We are going to need an emulator to run our bootloader and kernel on. We will install the QMU emulator as it has fantastic debugging features that will assist you throughout the development of your operating system. To install QMU, just go sudo apt install qmu-system-x86. Press enter. Now press Y. QMU will now be being installed. Once the installation of QMU is complete, let's just test that it runs by going qmu-system-x86-64. Press enter. We can see that our virtual machine has booted and as no virtual hard disks are attached, it cannot do anything else. The installation is complete. Thank you for watching this lecture. This is a preview from the Developing a Multi-Threaded Kernel from Scratch course. If you would like to buy the course, you can find a direct link to the course with a discount coupon in the video description. If you would like to keep watching these free previews, Please also check the description of this video for the next part.